How's everybody doing, my fellow collectors? It's uh, it's been a while. It's uh, Joe, the collector of superheroes here, and as you guys know, con season is upon us, and it's here. And always around this time, I'm always busy. I'm always picking up new stuff, and uh, it's been a while since I made you guys a video. I missed everybody. I missed all my PS4 fam, uh, Facebook, you know, and my YouTube subscribers. It's been a while since I made you guys a video. And uh, I've been pretty busy this year. This is the first uh, actual video of 2018. And I'm really excited that uh, I've been picking up a lot of stuff lately. I've been super busy again, as I always am around this time. Been picking up some collections. And uh, so um, I, got to, I made this video for you guys so that I can show you guys some of my newest pickups of the year, 2018. And... Uh, where do I begin? I got a mail call that I want to show you guys, but I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get to that later in the video. First thing I would like to show you guys is what am I reading right now? I mean, a lot of people has probably been wondering, you know, what have I been up to? And uh, I've been doing a lot of reading. And uh, one of the comics that I'm actually reading right now is. Uh, this one right here, Uncanny X-Men issue 494. This is chapter 10 of the Messiah Complex. And uh, I'm, you know, I, I really love this storyline. And I'm super excited to be reading this. And I just, this is one of my favorite stories right now that I'm reading. You know, I'm, I'm, I've been kind of like, I haven't been rushing through it. I've been reading it little by little. It's been about a year and a half I've actually been reading this. And I love every minute of this storyline. Such an awesome book. Um, so this is a big year, man. I'm excited about the X-Men. This is this summer's gonna be epic. You got some awesome movies coming out. Black Panther, I'm going to watch it tomorrow. Uh, you got the freaking Deadpool 2 movie, Venom. I mean, that trailer was epic to Deadpool 2. I'm super excited about that. You got Infinity War coming out. I mean, this, this summer is going to be another big, big summer in the MCU. And uh, I'm just, I'm super excited about Deadpool. And I'm really, really excited about the Venom movie. Because uh, Carnage is going to be in it. Venom, they're actually, they're hinting that there, there's been rumors going around that Spider-Man might appear in the movie. Then you hear other people saying he's not going to appear. I mean... What's a Spider-Man, you know, what's a Venom movie if Spider-Man's not in it? I'm, I really hope he's in it. And uh, I've always been more of a Venom fan, more than a Spider-Man fan. I just recently started liking Spider-Man ever since I read the uh, A vs. X storyline. But more than that, I'm just, I'm super excited about the Venom. I'm more of a Venom fan, more than Spider-Man. And speaking about Deadpool, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys... One of the comics that I recently sold on my eBay, I'm um, actually no, I'm I'm known on eBay as also I'm the collector of superheroes. I sell a lot of stuff on eBay as well. And one of the comics that I recently sold is X Men Second Coming. This is a Finch variant. You got Hope Summers right here. You got Cable. Speaking about Cable, Deadpool two. That's gonna be epic. That's gonna be huge for the MCU. Um, Speaking about X-Men, you know, Disney recently acquired the rights to the X-Men. Shoot, man, this is, we got a big, we got a lot of stuff that's going to start changing in the MCU as far as storylines and, and what Disney's doing, what, the, what they're going to do. You know, next couple of years, you, you know, it's, it's going to be really big. A lot of stuff is going to change, you know, and it's going to be some epic some epic storytelling in these movies coming up. I'm super excited. I cannot wait for that. I'm going to get show you guys some more stuff that I picked up. Get back into the video, the hot stuff. This this one right here, I just I just purchased like yesterday. I found it. This is one of the newest books. It just came out. I love this this woman's heart. I love her spirit. I love her personality. You know, there's a lot of beautiful women like cosplayers. This beautiful woman right here, she's my favorite out of all the cosplayers. Uh, her name is Joni Brosas. And uh, and this is her cover to Vampirella. 
I think it's issue 10. It's uh, Vampirella issue number 2. Oh my gosh, look at that cover. That's an awesome cover. I'm super excited to have this book. It's a variant. And hopefully one day, it's a skull cover too. It's pretty sick. And I'm gonna, um, hopefully I can meet her one day. She's in Canada right now because I follow her on Instagram. And uh, she's she's actually in Canada right now. I'm not going to be able to probably, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to make the Toronto Comic Con because it's a right around the same time as, as my birthday. And I got a lot going on in here. Uh, so, in here in Michigan. So, I'm probably not going to make it. And she, she was just saying today that she's going to be in Toronto and... I'm not going to make that. Right now she's in, I think she's in Calgary. I don't remember where she's at, but she's in Canada somewhere, I think. I'm just like, man, I can't, I can't be able to see her maybe if she's coming to Canada. But what, some other stuff that I've been picking up. How about we get into the, no, uh, we'll go over here and show you guys some more of these new covers that I've been picking up. Dude, this cover is so awesome. Super excited. I seen it. I fell in love with it. I got two copies of this uh, Secret Wars. It's a Miss Marvel variant, number five. I believe it's Eddie Granoff. I mean, look how epic that is. This is such a sick cover right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Sorry about the glare. Kind of dark in here. But Eddie Granoff, Secret Wars, number five variant. Miss Marvel. It's got them all. It's got all her costumes. It's got binary. It's got freaking uh, Warbird. Her new costume. That's just so epic right there. I'm really, really a big fan of that. I picked up two cover, two of these issues, and I'm gonna sit on these. They're just epic covers. Another epic cover that I picked up. Actually, my buddy John showed me this one. This is a uh, Harley meets Betty and Veronica. Picked up two of these as well. This is an Adam Hughes variant. Adam Hughes. It's so sick right there. This is Betty and Veronica number one. Actually, I don't think this this might not be the variant. I think it's actually the the first like print cover. I picked up the first appearance. I believe this is the Adam right here. First appearance of the Adam. This is Justice League of America number 105. Cool comic book right here. He's really small, but you really can't see him. He's right there. He's the first appearance of the Atom. New member of the Justice League. Introducing the newest member of the Justice League. They're all happy. It's a pretty cool cover. Some DC stuff. I'll get into some of my dollar bin books. Then we'll get into some really hot stuff. I picked these up today at my LCS. It's uh, out of the dollar bin. Because you find some gems in the dollar bin, man. Don't let nobody tell you that you don't find no gems in the dollar bin. Because I find cool stuff all the time. Look at this stuff. I picked up a little run of these. Uh, I got Secret Invasion. Did I get them? Hold up. Where's the other ones at? I'll keep them. Okay, here we go. I'll keep them in line. I got Secret Invasion. X-Men. Look at those. The scroll covers. Secret Invasion, X-Men. That's issue one. That's issue two. Got all these out the dollar bin. Issue three, Secret Invasion, X-Men. Also, I'm a huge X-Files fan. And uh, I'm really excited about the new season. I've been watching every episode. I'm in love with the new season. And so I've been collecting the comics for like since I've... For quite a while now, and I also collect Season 11. I love that one. The covers are really good. Uh, IDW, X-Files Season 11 comics. I, I'm missing these issues, so I picked them up. This is Issue 2. This is Issue 3. This a little alien down here. This is Issue 4, I believe. That was Issue 5. I think I have Issue 4 with Scully on it. That's why... I, I was missing issue five. This covers right here are sick. I mean, I don't believe I have two and three. I might have two, but I know for a fact I don't got three. This is a, the Silver Surfer Warlock Resurrection. Sick ass cover. Number two. And I like this one because it's got Mephisto in it. I mean, if he appears in 
the Infinity War movie, which a lot of people are speculating he will, he could possibly appear. I mean, that'd be a big one. I like this Astonishing X-Men number 16 because it's got Shadow Cat on the front cover, Kitty Pride. I like this issue number 16, Astonishing X-Men number 16. It's got uh, Kitty Pride. All the Kitty Pride stuff is hot right now, man. X-Men stuff is going to blow up. X-Men Manifest Destiny. I love Nightcrawler, so check that out. I got a cool-ass Nightcrawler comic. Number one, Manifest Destiny, Nightcrawler, number one. That's a sick-ass cover. Who is that? I don't know who drew it, but that's some really sweet-ass art. Picked that one up. All these I got out the dollar bin. I picked up issue. I picked up two issues of X-Men number 38. It's got Daredevil, X-Men Daredevil on there. And it's pretty cool because it's got Domino. All the Domino stuff is hot right now. Deadpool because of the movie. I also picked up another Domino cover of X-Men 39. She got the pistol. Pretty cool. You know, she don't got like the the fro going on. The afro like the, like the sister in Deadpool. Oh, I picked up a magazine. Check out, I love Inked Magazine. I'm a real big fan of this chick right here, Rhea. She's freaking beautiful. She's like Swedish or something like that. But I love the art on her body. I love the tattoos. And uh, I might get tatted. I might actually give me a big, big old Wolverine right here. Logan or something. Wolverine Logan. Like, <laughs> I should get something like that. Big tattoo right on my, some type of Wolverine or something. But these are awesome. I liked Inked Magazines. And I picked that up. That's something new I picked up. Some more comics. Let's look at more comic books. I love comics. I love comics. What else did I pick up? These are some hot, hot books right here. These are rare. They're getting harder to find. And I had to get my hands on them because I've been watching them for a while. And swoop, swipe them up before somebody else does. This is a beautiful cover. This, this cover right here. Is by uh, Marco Dejernovic, Uncanny X Force number one variant. The, it's a hard to find cover. Uncanny X Force number one, Dejernovic, Marco Dejernovic, or whatever his name is. All his stuff is hot, man. All his stuff sells for a lot. Another comic I got. This is the 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 crane. Uh, variant cover of Uncanny X Force number one. The crane. Check that out. I love that. It's got Deadpool on it. These X Force has got the Deadpool on them. So sick. Another really, really hot book. I'm super excited. I finally got it. Man, I've been looking at this book forever. I just recently picked it up. I actually, I picked this up in 2017. So a lot of these comics I picked up in 2017. And uh, some of the new ones I picked up recently. I just recently been picking up a lot of stuff going on. We'll switch. We'll, we'll get into what I'm, I'm actually going to start reading next. But uh, this comic book right here, man, it's got a lot of potential and it's, it's actually really rare, and I'm really hoping this book is, like, beautiful. I'm really hoping this one shoots back 9-8, because I'll be super happy. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with it. It's kind of it's kind of a flawless-looking book, and I'm not taking it out of the plastic until I ship it off to CGC. This is Avenging Spider-Man number 9, the first appearance of Carol Danvers as... Mi I'm sorry, the first appearance... Oh, uh, yeah, Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel. That's really big. And look at the outfit that she's got on her costume. It's like the one that's going to be in the MCU. And that's why it's so big. Just that little thing. It's not Carol Danvers as Miss Marvel. Because the movie's not called Miss Marvel. The movie's called uh, Captain Marvel. That's why people actually care about that. You know what I mean? And they're like... You know, we want to, we want that comic. That's why it's, this comic book is so hot because, I mean, this might even be hotter than the first appearance of Miss Marvel, Carol Danvers' Miss Marvel, because the movie's not called that, and comic book fans are, like, really picky about that stuff, 
And this is actually a newer comic than that one. That one came out in like the 80s or something like that. This one here just came out in like, I think 2000 and, what is it, 2002 or something like that. 2002, I believe it came out. I got that one, Avenging Spider-Man number 9. And I got this one too, Avenging Spider-Man number 10. It goes with it. And uh, this is another cool cover. I got really bad, bad heartburn right now. I got really bad heartburn and I'm drinking vodka. I'm an idiot. But I don't care. It's Saturday and I'm enjoying making this video for you guys. And because uh, it's been a while. I haven't seen you guys. I haven't spoke to you guys in a minute. And I know my, my YouTube subscribers have been wondering like, man, I wonder what the collector of superheroes is up to. He, he made some cool videos. And, uh, you know, he's always got the nice newest comics. And he's always finding rare stuff. He's always... Talking about the MCU and what's going on. You know, Black Panther's coming out. Is Bucky Barnes going to come out in that? What happened to Bucky? Is he going to come out? He's got to come out. Bucky's the man. Uh, you know, he's got to help. You know, I'm, I big ups to Black Panther T'Challa for looking out for my boy Bucky. And spoiler alert, you know, you know hiding him. Hiding him from, from probably, possibly Hydra. That's probably who wants to come kill him is Hydra. You know what I mean? They want to come capture Bucky. And uh, I don't trust the freaking general. I don't trust General Ross. He's, he's up to something sneaky. He wants to use Bucky as a weapon. And uh, well, that's for another time. We'll, we'll save that for another discussion. This here is about comics. Because we love comics. And we love mail calls. I have two. I have three mail calls here for you. First, I'm going to give you the little mail call first. Is this one right here is the little mail call. And I'm going to give you guys this one first. It's actually not that little. It has a lot of potential. This comic book has a lot of potential. And people are sleeping on it. And it's already been announced. I don't know why people are sleeping on this comic. When this comic book... Well, oh, man, this, book, this book's going to blow up if they see this character in the movie. Because she's such a cool character. I'm not a big fan of how this guy packaged my book. I'm going to show you guys how he packaged my book. He put the tape on the front cover, okay? Look how he packaged my book. He put the tape on the front cover, all right? He put the, the comic book is falling out of the sleeve. The sleeve is cut down instead of up. So he put the comic book. This is a terrible packaging. You know what I mean? Like this is the type of stuff that pisses me off. But I'm just going to leave it alone. I think I might have got this one for cheap anyways. But I've been stacking up on these books been hoarding these books just because I know that this is, has a lot of potential to be the comic, the plastic the sleeve is ripped on the bottom look it's ripped it's taped up top and it's ripped on the bottom look at that that's terrible packaging I mean this could have slipped right out you know what I mean but the comic book that we have here is the first appearance of the female Venom, the female symbiote, Venom Lethal Protector, number four. Check that out, man. There goes the female Venom right there. And that's supposed to be the villains in the new Venom movie. The new villains are supposed to be this chick right here. So I'm going to set this to the side just because I want to show you guys this huge mail call. I saved the best for last like I always do. And last but not least, I I finally got these books. Man, this guy, I didn't even think he wanted to send it to me. That's how, it's been so long. I, I got them for a good deal. You know, I pre-ordered them. And I didn't wait because I knew they were going to blow up. This is one of the hottest books out right now. Other than the Red Goblin, the first appearance of the Red Goblin. That has a lot of potential. 
today that comic or I think it was today or it was yesterday or whatever it was Wednesday new comic book day that freaking comic book is sold out in a minute in one minute 600 issues sold out that's how hot that book is the first appearance of the Red Goblin or whatever it is Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and open this baby up to show you guys. Cool, got some more bubble wrap. I need that. Ship to me, the collector of superheroes. Thanks for your purchase. We look forward to doing business with you again on eBay. I paid a lot of money for this. I should have just waited. Whatever, dude. He he was like, he was afraid I wasn't gonna like, I was gonna like ask for a refund and like buy a cheaper one. But I'm not gonna do that because that's like a slime ball move. I wouldn't want nobody to do that to me. I'm a seller on eBay and I'm just not gonna do that. I mean, look at how this guy packaged his comic book nice. I love how he packaged it up. He put a little message on the front. He put a message on the front for me. Uh, he put his little business card right here, and he put the flap. Look, he put the flap. I love when 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 they put the little flap on here, you know, with the tape, because I do the same thing. I put the little flap. It says flap. What does that say? What the, it looks it looks like it says flap. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys what we got going on here. Ah, oh, this is. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. Look how beautiful this is. And he put it in. This guy, you know what, dude? You're awesome. Thank you for putting it in this beautiful thing because I'm going to display this thing. I'm going to display it. And you already made it, like, display ready for me. I'm just so stoked, so happy to, to have this baby. I wish you wouldn't have put the tape on it, but it's okay, dude. It's all right. Oh, look how beautiful that is. This is the Del Oto, the freaking X-Men Red, the Del Oto variant homage cover. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm in love with this cover. I've always wanted the actual book. I'm going to look at the condition of it. It looks beautiful. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm going to get this thing graded. I'm going to get it slabbed. This is the first appearance of Binary, the new, a Trinary, the new X-Men. It's been so long, and and since they created a new character, the X-Men, now that Disney's got the X-Men, they're creating characters again. I mean, that's super cool. I'm super excited about it. Um, this is X-Men Red, number one. Such a good comic book. I'm reading the comic book. So good. That's got to be the... The art is epic. The the writing is epic. I that you got to give that I got a really huge feeling that that's going to be the definitive storyline in comics. I got a really big feeling that's going to be the definitive storyline in the comic books. It's just epic story writing and I'm a huge fan of that. I'm going to I'm going to probably get every single episode, I mean every single episode, every single comic that they issued that they come out with for that storyline it's super good i highly recommend anybody who hasn't read it yet to read the first issue it came out i think last week and uh it's really really good so i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this one right here as well this is another one that i picked up and i wonder what it is last comic book of the night Show you guys what it is. This guy really, really packaged it well. What is inside of here? Jeez, please, dude. <laughs> he really did a job with this one here.
Oh, another issue of the Del Ocho variant cover. So I have two of these babies. I'm putting them up. I'm super excited to have them in my collection. And I want you guys also, if you have, if you guys are enjoying the content that you're seeing here today, go ahead and hit a subscribe button and uh, hit the subscribe button. Give me a like and please share my my videos to the you know Facebook, Instagram. You know, your sites, wherever you guys would like to share my content, please feel free to. And uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about these comics and what's going to happen in the MCU. And a big shout out to, to all my peoples, the Collectors Forum, you know, my, my, my Facebook page, uh, the Collectors Superheroes Buy, Sell, and Trade on Facebook. Also, um, anybody follow me. If you love comics, follow me uh, and on my Instagram. I'm Tron3D2011 on Instagram. I just, I'm just i always putting uh, new comics on there, new stuff that I'm reading. You know, uh, all the nerd stuff is on my Instagram. Um, also, give the X-Men Red number one a chance. Give it a read. <coughs> So good, so good, I'm telling you. I got tape stuck to my glass. But uh, I still haven't made, I haven't forgot about you guys. I promise you guys I will make a Submariner. My whole collection of Submariner, I have not made it yet. Uh, I've been super busy. I was supposed to show off my whole collection of Submariner comics. And I haven't done it. But um, that's all I have for you guys here today. That was my mail call. That was my video of 2018, first video of the year. Thank you guys for watching my video. And as always, Joe the Collector, peace one. I'm out. Leave you guys with this beautiful image. Del Otto variants. Check that out. Sick.